Well, the storm continues to be ongoing across uh, western portions of the state, and areas east of the vital start seeing effect as we head through this evening and into tomorrow as well. Look at our watches, warnings, and advisories. These haven't changed since yesterday, and then we go through 11 o'clock. We we'll probably will expire these if conditions improve during that time. Still have that warning basically from about Jackson all the way down to Afton. That's surrounded by these winter weather advisories, including Yellowstone Park, Kemmerer, Pinedale, and also the Absorcus. Again, 11 o'clock, these should expire. Now, as far as uh, what we expect for timing of impacts, will be some periods of snow heavy at times continuing through the evening hours, but will become more intermittent late tonight, and the winds will also begin to decrease. So. Conditions will improve. They've already seen over a foot of new snow, for example, on top of uh, Jackson Hole. They probably will get several more inches as well. So just adding to that base up there. Now, those of us east of the divide, pretty quiet as I'm recording this right now, about 3, 3.30. However, take a look at this. Snow showers will develop this evening and continue on and off into Monday. Heaviest will probably occur during the evening hours, maybe a lull as we head toward morning, and another round coming in, in the afternoon. Now, one thing I want to emphasize, like yesterday, not like out west where you just have one big push of moisture and it's pretty uniform. Here it's going to be banded, very hard to nail down exactly. The models are still having some disagreements as to where exactly they're going to form. So you could vary widely over short distances. You could go five miles, you could go from six inches down to one inch and vice versa. So a rough idea of what we think the snow is going to do, this starts at five o'clock and goes through Monday. See about two or three additional inches in the western valleys, maybe up to maybe another six across the higher elevations of the west. Most of this falling this evening. Get east of the divide, again, two main rounds this evening and probably on Monday afternoon. Now, right now, we think the best chance for seeing uh, the steady snow, basically a belt from Cody through Warland, then into Johnson County. A little bit higher around KC, but that's just right now. That could change, obviously. If it shifts to 20 miles, this three to four could go from the Buffalo, or could go down to Midwest, maybe as far south as Casper as well. So just keep an eye on that. And a great slide made here by one of our new employees, Celia Fisher. I really like this. Again, row conditions, this is the best place to go. You get it right from YDOT, right from the source. They don't know anything we don't know. Why I wrote that info on the web, you're on the phone, 511 in-state, 188 Wild Road out-of-state. Now you want to take a look at our webcam page, it's a great resource, you want to see what the roads are doing in certain areas for yourself. That right there, I'm not going to read that out, it's way too long. They always want weather information, weather.gov, slash RW. Be safe everybody, and have a great week.